Webcam with Cannons. This is a, a song I was listening to in the, on the radio. On the way home, me and Jolene were driving, and uh, when I listen to the radio, all, all I listen to is Christian music, right? And uh, so I'd heard this song before, but this time I was really listening in. I was really digging it. I'm loving the melodies. You know, certain songs, they, they grab you, and they got a, a good feel to them. And um, the arrangement of chords, it's not that they're so super complex, it's just the way, boom, plus the anointing of God. So um, this, we memorized like a couple words when we heard it in the car, ran in the house, Jolene typed in like, uh, I hear it in the thunder and rain, or no, the moon and the stars declare, we remembered that. Came in, typed it, she found it, and uh, I, wanna, I wanna show it to you guys, all right? So a uh, good, really good song. Standard tuning. And uh, this first chord is really cool. Check this out on the Clean channel, man. You'll hear the, the tonality a little better. Watch. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Yeah. So this is just on the intro, the buildup. Open E and just bar the second fret on the A, the D, the G the B and the E. So cover everything, string five through one, barred, and uh, we're gonna go third fret on the B string. So you can use your third finger or middle, it doesn't matter. And we're just gonna build it. It's an eighth note count, so one and two and three and four and dynamically, guys, just kinda start soft. And I like to accent, you know, like one and two and. I may accent a little harder on the ands, you know? But check it out. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, no, this one I think I kept straight. Yeah. Just straight. No accenting anything harder. So. Okay, the next chord is an A2. If you know an A major, you got it because you're just going to lift one finger off. Open A, 2D, 2G, open B, open E. Make sure the knuckles are coming at a downward approach so they don't mute any of the uh, unwanted strings in there. And uh, you can check them as arpeggios. It's not a bad idea uh, to make sure the clarity's there. All right? Now here's where I kind of do the accent. Da, do, da, do, da, do. That type of vibe. So think about it like this. One, and two, and it's a measure of eighth notes. A little bit of theory, which I don't go into tons of. But um, at the end of the day, are you feeling it? And uh, are you feeling it? Is everything clear, right? And then uh, my thumb, I'm muting string six. If you hit a low E open in there, you know, it's... Uh, there's an E note in the A major chord, but don't put it in there. From there, we'll keep that same uh, eighth note progression over a D2 chord. And on this one, I'm basically taking, well, I'm just barring the fifth fret um, on the A string all the way through to the high E, and then I go 7D, 7G. Once again, watch them knuckle angles. Index, I'm gonna mute string six a little so I can hit it and you won't hear it. Okay, so same idea. And I love this next chord. It's a form of F sharp minor, but it's got a, an E open E in it. Or it's a... What was I doing? Dang it. There it is. All right, 4A, 4D, and 2G. And I would use those fingers, third, fourth, and first. Middle finger's not doing nothing. On this, uh, make sure the your hand here doesn't mute out the high E. Just little things. You gotta watch hand placement and sometimes you're gonna have to lower your thumb down to clear this stuff. And if you're there, just strum it. My third finger, I'm gonna mute string six and just strum away. Next one's a B minor, kind of a standard bar position, second position, um, standard B minor form. Bar second fret, strings five through one or A through high E, and then go 4D, 4G, and 3B. Index and muting string six. Same strum. And then start it over. <clears throat> and then uh, 
um, just for the heck of it, I'm going to show you. Guitar cuts out here. It's like a, a keyboard or synth going, hitting some notes. But this would be the chords behind it, all right? Um, A2, which we learned already. 2D, 2G. And we'll just go down, 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 up. I would use that strum for most of this. See, uh... Yeah, down, 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 up, E major, down, down, up. Apply the same strum. E major, open, two, two, one, open, open. So. B minor, second position. We did that earlier, right? To F sharp minor. Now this time, you can pick and choose uh, whether you want to go the barred, everything, second fret, 4A, 4D. That's the typical sound that you expect, right, with an F sharp minor. But you could use this one as well, which is a lot more uh, earthy and uh, nice tonality with the, with the opens. All right, 4A, 4D, 2G, and then two opens on the end. So that's coming off of the uh, off the B minor, right? And then um, end it with D, A, and E. So D major is from the bottom up. Two, three, two, open D. And you can hit an open A in there, but definitely mute string six, the low E, or don't strum it. But I prefer just to mute it. So you'll go from D to an A major. So open A, second fret D, G, and B. Experiment with fingerings on that. Um, and open high E, same strum. Into E major, open E, second fret A, D. 1G, open on the bottoms. Down, 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 down. To keep this kind of a simplified format for you, I'm thinking we'll go E to E suspended, watch. It's just something like that. And all I'm doing to make an E suspended is down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Just uh, slide that pinky in on the second fret G string. Keep everything else, you know. This becomes irrelevant because we're using that over here, but just as easy to leave it down, right? So. So many options, guys. You could go. So many things, but. Anyways, the chord of this lesson that I just love. So that's it. All right. Boom. And it's been a while since I've uh, thrown a, the free. Uh, well, yeah, the non-paid services up here because I have so many CBT lessons these days. It's uh, there's, I'm swamped, man. My schedule is just packed with the custom tabs and videos. Um, but I do like to throw other stuff up, and I have. You guys can still make requests, of course. Just understand, with uh, 150,000 subs, you got to imagine the subscriber uh, requests that I have. But I still do still do acknowledge them, and uh, occasionally I'll fill one up when I have time so don't don't be hesitant about that subscribe to this channel and uh, if you're not a subscriber it's very active almost daily and uh, share these videos on social media and uh, check out my paid services custom video tablature and custom tablature the two behind the scenes uh, handwritten tabs all that fun good stuff and videos and I offer priority prepaid guitar lessons PPG lessons you get your request on my channel within three days and uh, lessons for guitar on Skype bass and my wife Julian teaches vocals alright so until next time I'm Mike Gross keep rocking and let's jam this on the way out what do you say here we go <clears throat> make sure I'm clear me 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 here we go.